In this video, we're going to go over an introduction to Text2CAD. Text2CAD is a way of generating a CAD part or modifying a CAD part through a text description. Rather than doing the point and click yourself, you just say, I want this or design this, and then our AI takes care of it for you. A couple things to know about Text2CAD is that it is currently in an experimental phase. So it is, we are still in the early stages of Text2CAD. We work on it every single day. But just know that it's not perfect. It may generate things that you're not necessarily super happy with, but the simpler, the better, better as of today, the more complex it can struggle. Second thing to know is that if you are on a free plan, you get 40 free credits per month. You can see right here that I have 27 remaining credits for the month, and then we will refresh it every single month. Text2CAD calls are not necessarily one minute to one call or like one credit to one call, it, it depends on how long it takes. So say you do a really complex part or a complex prompt, and it takes a minute and 15 seconds to generate, that would be two credits worth because we round up to the next minute. Most, a large majority of Text2CAD prompts take about 10 to 30 seconds. So just know that most of the time it will just be one credit, but in case you are doing really complex prompts, it could take more than one. Let's get started using Text2CAD. I'm going to do an incredibly basic example just to show you how to use it and how to iterate off it. So in the main menu, you can hit Generate with Text2CAD, and I'll say Design a Block. Hit Enter. Now it's currently sending it to our machine learning API. It sent a response back with our block. This looks OK to me. I'll hit Accept. And this will open it into one of our projects. So this is a Zoo Design Studio project. You can see my block. And then I could also do another generation right here with Create with Zoo Text2CAD. If you want to edit your part after using Text2CAD, you can through the feature tree. If you understand KCL, you could also do it through the KCL code pane. Say I wanted to edit my extrude to be, it created a variable called block height. I will divide it by two, hit enter. And now I have my new extrusion, extrusion height. I can also modify with Zoo Text Cad up here. So I'll click that, skip this part, and say um, pattern the block five times in the Y direction and double the size. Okay. This looks mostly okay to me. I would prefer that there's some spaces in between. So I'm gonna do modify one more time. Skip that and say, leave some space between the blocks. Hit enter. That looks okay to me. I'll hit continue. And just know it may take a minute or so to update your text CAD credits. So be careful if you're doing prompt after prompt after prompt you may run out even though it says you have like one or two left. But this has been an introduction to Text2CAD. Thanks for watching.